Hello everybody, we are the Artie Crafty son and dad and my son has gone back to school and of course before he went back to school right, he had to do a project that is related to the storybook that he is reading at this point of time. Kenzo? 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 What book are you reading? Can you please tell the people? The three peas. The three peas. asked the children to to do one of the houses that is inside this storybook, and I'm sure that all of you know what are the three houses made of. The first one is made of straw. The second one is made of wood. The third one is made of bricks. Bricks. Which house? Did you choose? Pablo. Pablo's house, and it is a house that is made yeah. of bricks. Bricks. This is the house that we had made for his school project. So, are you ready, Kenzo? Yes. Let's go. go! Right, so, right now, we are going to take a look at what are the materials that we need to make this project. We will need recycled cardboard boxes like this. Okay, and we are going to need a ruler and a pencil for us to do measurement and to draw out where Kenzo is supposed to cut later. We will need a pair of scissors. Yes, for Kenzo to cut through the cardboard. But of course, if you can't do it, then parents, you will need to help. I will need to help him if let's say he can't do it. We will need masking tape, double side tape to tape up the boxes together. We will need to have paint. Okay, in order to paint the boxes right, what do we need, Kenzo? What do you need? Yes, and of course, we need the... What is this? for us to put the paint in but most importantly Kenzo we need the book to see so that we know how to do the house that's right um, we have already put the paint inside the palette so we have the red for the bricks the brown for the background and of course the blue for the roof and to make this um, to make this house right, I decided to make it into like a square, a cube, okay, and it's measuring 12 cm by 12 cm. Okay, this will be for the four walls and the bottom of the the bottom of the house. And of course, over here, right, this is the rooftop, it is going to be 13 cm by 14 cm. We want the, the length of the rooftop right to be to be longer so that you know it will cover the box itself so that it looks like a real house and of course this is actually the side of the rooftop all you need to do is to measure half of it which is 12 cm then you know point uh, 6 cm and the height will be 6 cm and then you just draw a straight line and then you just form a triangle yes and of course we have already started you know um, cutting out some of the stuff so right now we are going to get Kenzo to help to paint the red brick, bricks the bricks bricks okay and he's going to use this super duper big brush so that he can paint it paint faster and of course later after I finish cutting the rest of this right, he is going to help to paint the rest. Okay, so Kenzo, can you just take this and paint, okay? The red color. The red. So I'm using a big scissor to just cut. Of course, you can use a pen knife. If you feel that a pen knife is easier for you to just cut. 
But once again, remember to cut it away from the children. So I have the sides, I'm just going to put it here. This is the rooftop. One, two, I'm going to cut one, two, and three for the walls and the bottom of the house. So we are done with the one, two, three, four. What I'm going to do while Kenzo is painting is that I am going to take the masking tape to take all the five pieces together. Is everything okay, Kenzo? Are you happy to go back to school? Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because I can see my friends. Ooh, that's great. I'm also happy that you're going back to school. So this is what you do. Okay? Make sure that you use the masking tape to tape and of course Make sure that it becomes a cube. Okay? <gasps> okay. Ta da! So, you know, I just need to use masking tape to take the four corners. Because later we are just going to paint the brown over. So I'm just going to find the piece hair and paint. Okay. And and paste for the bottom. Ta -da. And of course, turn it around, press it in. So that you know it becomes a box whereby you can put things inside. Okay, you can just make sure that all the corners are well sealed. Okay, so I'm going to just put these aside and continue with the rooftop. So this is the rooftop. Take the take the sides. Just take this like this. Okay. And make sure it is about one cm. Okay. So that. It goes Last one Okay <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna rest soon Okay And we are done with the Roof. Okay, it's not very nice at this point of time, but later we're just gonna paint it. So if you can see this box right, okay, all you need to do is to just cover it over and it is going to be the cover. Okay, so this is how it looks like, you know, like this. Then after that you just need to open up, you see? Ta -da! It is going to be like a box with a cover. So we are going to continue painting and once it's done, I am going to show you how it looks like. So we have completed our painting and if you can see all the red color 
pieces of cardboard in the middle is actually done by Kenzo. Great job, Kenzo! And of course, you have cut it into you have cut it into smaller pieces to make it look like the bricks on the house, the rooftop. Okay, the rooftop and the house. Take a look at how it's actually uh, part of it is done by Kenzo. Okay, in case if you feel the air come, it's not done properly. It's okay because later we are gonna cover it up with all these pieces of red bricks. So we are going to start the job right now. Can I have the, have the door? Oh, we get a door so that the house has a small door. Okay. We have already fixed the door. Okay, and we are going to fix the walls right now. We're going to fix this and I'm going to just show you an example of how it is like. Okay, let me just get Kenzo to just... Okay. Oh, Kenzo. So what I did was, before I cut the the red color cardboard right? cardboard strips into smaller pieces I've actually placed double side tape behind so that it will not be a tedious job for me to paste it after the pieces become smaller that you know it looks like the cement that is in between the in between the bricks in case you are wondering like you know what about these corners, you can actually take this and cut it into half. After that, you can pair and paste. Okay, we are done with the three sides of the walls. Don't you think that they look beautiful? And right now we are going to decorate the door. Yes, the front of the door. And of course, what we're gonna do is that we got to do a window. Okay, two windows here for the door. And what actually what you need to do is you just need to cut and then I'm gonna make it into a square. So this is how this is how the window looks like. Okay, and we are going to just place the bricks, the bricks. Yes, that is right. So this is how the house looks like. Okay, take a look at the brick walls. And of course, all you need to do is to just put the rooftop above and you have a box that you can open up to put your things. So Kenzo can submit this project to his teacher. Okay. So, Yay! so that's it from Ati Crafty Son and Dad. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.